All right, coronavirus classroom is really, really hard, and I don't want to have to do a bunch of editing, so I've been trying to record a how to use this class video for the last, I don't know, 20 minutes. It was gonna to take too much editing, so I'm starting over. I know that this is not your class that we're looking at, but it's got all of the components of your class that you will need, and it might be your class, but it might not. It might be the other class. It might be the summer, the, the class that I used uh, in the spring because all of their material is there, so just don't worry about it. All of the classes are constructed the same way. So the details will be specific to your class and available in your syllabus and your schedule. Uh, but this is going to be, it's going to work the same. So just please bear with me and we'll get through this together. Okay, so from your D2L page, you are going to click on your course and it will bring you to the home page. Any important announcements will be here. I will post three announcements a week. I'm planning on being in class three days a week as I would have been if we had been in class. I'll be in class Monday, Wednesday, Thursday. I'll probably post announcements Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday for one, two, three if you want to go that way. But um, I'm planning the schedule uh, according to how it would have been if we'd been together. So on your home page, you'll see announcements. Make sure you're reading that all the time. The next important thing is this content page. So here here in content, there are several things. This general information module has all of the important class stuff. So uh, I will upload your syllabus and your schedule will be here. This document called Mastering Instructions is how you're going to get into Mastering AMP. This lockdown browser requirement is how you're going to get the lockdown browser so that you can take our quizzes and tests. This study document tip is just going to help you, um, study tips document is going to help you figure out how to get a good study habit um, under your belt. So your syllabus will also be available there. Your schedule will also be available there. That's where all of the general information about class is found. The other thing that you're going to have are these weekly to-do lists. Week one will be up top and what it will have is a kind of schematic for you for what you should do for the week if you had been, like if we had been in class. So I'll just open this. We're only going to meet three days a week, so it'll have class one, class two, class three, but it'll be following exactly this format. Class one, warm up one, watch this lecture, watch this other lecture, watch this lab video, do this lab stuff. You will not have daily discussions. You're going to have weekly discussions. So you'll find that in the bottom of your to-do list as well. Um, as far as class components go, you have to do uh, your um, daily warm-ups. So those are going to be here in the, well, everything is pretty much going to be here except for your Mastering AMP assignments. So let's just go ahead and um, come back to our content really quick so we're clear with everything that we got there and then we'll go through the rest of the stuff. So to-do list is going to be really important. They'll tell you what you need to do every week. Also, pop quizzes. The only way you're going to know there's a pop quiz is if you read this and it tells you the date. So it'll say your pop quiz is due when Wednesday, this date. So that means that you've got only that Wednesday. Let's say your pop quiz was this Wednesday. Then it would on your to-do list week one, it would say class two. Uh, instead, it would say like warm up two, pop quiz one. That means that you have to take pop quiz one on that Wednesday. And you might say, yeah, but I thought this was an online class. Well, it is, but I am telling you right now, pop quizzes are going to be given to you in a 24 hour period and you will only know that if you're coming to class and paying attention to your weekly to-do lists. Um, and also then when you go to the quizzes tab, you would see it. So uh, it would probably just be, be easiest for, on everybody if you will come to class Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Um, but just uh, if it doesn't work, if you come on Tuesday and want to do Wednesday's work, well, just the, the pop quiz won't be available until Wednesday. So just be aware of that. Um, what else? The other thing here we have is the lab guide. So you're going to use these lab guides and Mastering AMP to study your lab stuff. So here's my lab guide and it tells me what do I need? Histology. The thyroid gland is positioned here. It has all this stuff. What does it look like? So what am I going to do in Mastering AMP? I'm going to come over here and we'll go over how to get into this in a second. But when you're in your class, then you're going to be able to access 
a lab resource and look at it. So, okay, so we'll come back to that in just a minute. So, we're because we're just doing a table of contents. Get your lab guide and print it out, and that's what you're going to use to study lab so that you can get your lab guide credit. Um, other modules that we have, all of the exam materials. So, exam one materials we have here. We've got the PowerPoints, the bare bones, um, power, uh, the, the bare bones, uh, it's basically just really nothing. There aren't pictures and stuff, but it's, a, it's like everything that you can take notes on. I highly recommend printing these out and taking notes on them because I talk fast, as you can tell, and you need to keep this as close to regular class as possible. There will be a little bare bones review here and some practice assignments for you. Uh, I'll address all of the rest of this stuff um, in class and in announcements. What are some other things? Then, um, Discussions. Okay, so discussions. You're going to have day, not daily discussions as they did in the spring. You're going to have weekly discussions instead. There are going to be three different discussion boards. One for you to help each other, one that I'm going to be monitoring every day, and then one for your weekly discussion post so I can make sure that you're actually watching the lectures, that you're engaged with the material. So here in the discussions board you'll see students helping students succeed. This is the space for you to support each other during this time of online learning. I don't monitor this page so just communicate with each other. Please be respectful and courteous and do not use this space for anything other than helping each other succeed. And then next, where I will be looking every day is this Teacher Helping Students Succeed discussion page. So if you have questions, this is where you're going to post them. So you might say, well, I posted in the weekly discussion board. I'm not monitoring that every day. I mean, I do look at it, yes, but I'm and read it every week, but I'm not monitoring it every day closely like a live teacher. I want to be like your live teacher. So during class hours, I'll watch this, Teacher Helping Students Succeed, and when there's something unread, I see it, and I read it and I answer your questions right there in class. So yours um, here instead will say weekly discussions. There will be specific instructions for you Aww. for how you're going to participate in that every week. So just make sure that you are clear about it. Not right now I can't. I'm almost done videotaping this lecture. So or this. So you gotta give me a minute. All right what else? Um, Discussions, assignments. Your assignments are not here. Your assignments are through Mastering AMP. Quizzes is where everything that you have to do through day 2L is going to be found. So your daily warm-ups will be here. The, what you'll see right away are these online quizzes that are available for a very specific amount of time. So when you look at your course schedule, you'll see we've got labs, this is where you'll see what lab guide you need. This is where you'll see what we're talking about, so the PowerPoints that you need for the day. This is your lab guide. This is the due date for your online quizzes. These are different than pop quizzes. And these are the due dates, or the, this tells you when your Mastering AMP assignments are due. They're due by 11.59 p.m. on Tuesday. What Tuesday? I don't know, the Tuesday at right here, 6-2. Yes, I want you to be starting class immediately. And so, yeah, check that out. Mastering AMP will also have your assignment due dates. So I am not going to tell you about these things ever again, not even in weekly to-do lists. Why? Because they're here. Your college students, this is part of what you have to do for studying. What I will tell you about in daily announcements are, or in your weekly to-do list is what we're doing every day. And in our daily announcements, I'll tell you what you're looking at every day as well. So I'm not going to remind you how to read these chapters. I'm not going to remind you how to do your homework. I'm not going to tell you how to do an online quiz that you have a really wide range of time during which you can complete. I will tell you in a weekly to-do list, oh, you've got a pop quiz on Monday. So I'll do that because that means that, or, or on Wednesday, because that means on Monday when you log in at, let's say you work nights, and so you can only log in at 12.01 a.m. on Monday. When you log in at 12.01 a.m. on Monday, you see that there's a pop quiz on Wednesday because you looked at your to-do list. And then on Wednesday at 12.01, you come and that pop quiz will show up as a pop quiz. And so pop quizzes are only available for one day. Warm-ups will show they're only available for one week. I'll put up warm-up one, two, and three on Monday, and they'll be available Monday through Friday. All three will be due Friday. You could do warm-up one on Monday, 
You could do warm up two on Wednesday. You could do warm up three on Thursday. Or you could do them all Friday. I don't care. All of the warm ups for one week are due Friday of that week. The other thing that you'll find here is your exams and your practicals. So your exams require lockdown browser and monitor. Uh, so we'll talk more about that when we get close to exam time. That's everything important from D2L. Well, you want to know about grades and stuff, look at your syllabus. It's got all those details. And you can also go back to that other introduction video anytime you want. So see you in class. Okay, so for mastering AMP, you're going to log in using that course connection code you bought and the course code for your class. So once you log into your class, the first thing that you'll see is like all of your assignments and stuff and like when your assignment is due. So just make sure you check that out. So um, yeah, look at your assignments. This is where your homework assignments every week are going to come from. So make sure you're logging into here as well. And that'll tell you where that is. As far as using it for lab goes, um, there's this study area here that you can log into to get in for that, but there's a whole separate video on accessing that, so I'll let you watch that. So again, as far as class goes, most of your stuff is gonna be handled here through D2L. Uh, course content has all of the important course components, your um, syllabus, your schedule, your to-do lists for the week, your lab guide, the PowerPoints, all of that stuff is here in the course content. Your discussions is a place for you to help each other. That's where I will be helping you every day, every Monday, every Thursday, every Monday, every Wednesday, and every Thursday. I will be here watching this Teacher Helping Students Succeed discussion board so that you can ask your questions there. And then you will have a weekly discussions page that you will post to by Friday by midnight there in discussions as well. The last thing that we have here in D2L is this quizzes component, which is where you're going to find your daily warm-ups. Again, you'll have daily warm-ups posted Monday through Friday. All of them are due for the week by Friday at midnight. You'll have your pop quizzes here, which you'll only know the date by looking at your weekly to-dos. You'll have the online quizzes, which you know the date that they're due because that's in your schedule. And you will have um, your exams and practicals here as, well, as well. Those um, due dates are available in the schedule uh, as well. So all of that should be pretty easy to find. Um, you can always shoot me a, an email with your questions. I don't check D2L email really, so shoot me the email through um, Red Rocks. And then uh, you can also post your questions here in the Teachers Helping Students Succeed discussion page. Thanks.